Well, from the outside, it is seven floors of glass and steel, a mammoth building spanning a whole block of Blanchard Street in downtown Victoria. And two years after construction began, tenants are now finally moving into the new atrium building. With a price tag of approximately $100 million, it is different from anything else the city has ever seen. But it'll be the home of some of Victoria's favorite businesses once they get inside. Our Louise Hartland took a tour of the space today, and she joins us now with a look inside. Louise. Hudson, walking into the atrium building today was like walking into an oasis, and soon it will be open for everyone to enjoy. From the street, it's a building like nothing else in Victoria. Inside, it's the same story, where finishing touches are still being made. It's the first um, large atrium we've done, um, in terms of you know three buildings put together with a covered central space. The design is a similar site in Europe, but the first of its kind here. So the idea was to kind of blend the fairly private function of upper floor business office building uh, with a, a very public site. The upper floors are office space, including three floors devoted to BC Ferries, with the first employees moving over today. On the bottom floor, a big open space with trees and eventually indoor patio space for restaurants and cafes. All familiar fixtures in the city, owned by independent and successful business people. This is a typical Friday night at Zambri's current location. Customers lined up, the small kitchen in full swing. We're at a crossroads. We're trying to decide who we wanted to become. Did we want to stay the same? Did we want to expand? Did we want to open another one? And it just was a perfect fit for us. In the next couple of weeks, the new restaurant will open, more than doubling the old location's capacity from 60 seats to more than 120. The owners say despite increased capacity, the quality of the food customers have come to crave and the intimacy of the restaurant won't be compromised. I think they're gonna, the food is going to be as good, if not better, because we have a better kitchen, we're going to have better uh, opportunity to, to make the dishes the way we'd like to. Across the atrium floor, Habit Coffee is getting ready to open a second location downtown. Yeah, we put those up temporarily. And like Zambri's, Habit owner Shane Devereaux expects the new location to be busier, but he says the service his loyal coffee drinkers have come to love won't change. It's important for me to still have a conversation with you when you come into the cafe. I, I, I will not have a place that just pumps people through. I really want to retain a lot of those good values we've had at the old place. So. A vision shared by all of the tenants on the ground floor of a building that's paving the way for developments in the city. As you saw in the story, there's a lot of wood on the interior of the building. Some of the most impressive is the skylight trusses. They are made from BC wood killed by the pine beetle and designed by the same people who did the Olympic skating oval in Richmond. The atrium will be open for the public to walk through within the next two weeks. Hudson. All right, it's lovely. Louise, mm -hmm. thank you.